So today we're going to be trying products from the first black owned nail supply store in Virginia, Dime Nail Supply. So let's get right into it. So I got the acrylic kit and I think I got like a powder on the side and I like getting acrylic kits from companies that I'm first trying out only because you get a little bit of everything so you can try out products without breaking the bank. So this is everything that I get. I got these acrylics. Um, I got this free little gift which is perfect for summer and I got these two acrylics on the side. This did not come with the kit. Um, I also got some square nail tips, non C curve. And so this is basically everything that I got. And so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So this is the color Carnation. We then have a Bubble Yum. And so now we're going to go ahead and unbox that acrylic kit. So this is everything that comes inside of it. We get your basic small little dampen dish. Um, these I like to use like when I'm doing like cleanup or like artwork. So I usually use a bigger dampen dish. Um, you get non C curve coffin nail tips. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I bought these square ones on the side only because I'm not, I have some fat fingers. So I feel like the square looks better on my nails over a coffin. You also get this um, manicure brush. You then get this mini buffer so you get two buffers and two files and this buffer felt really gritty i'm gonna assume this was like an 80 80 grip buffer but it definitely did the job and then you get these two nail files they're they worked well they were pretty sturdy considering how thin they were i just personally prefer a thicker nail file versus these like thin ones um you then get a four ounce ema monomer You then get a size 8 Kalinsky brush and since this is technically a beginner kit that makes sense because when you're starting out um, I recommend using the size 8 or 10 mostly 8 because I only just started using a 10 after like four years um, you then get this small KDS glue and we're gonna go ahead and get into the acrylic so this was the clear this was the buttercream which is like a nudish color that's the one I ended up using in today's video you also get two of these practice fingers and these are pretty good to practice they're just kind of hard to get the nail tip on there and this surprised me i was not expecting to see a young nails protein button in here but it was there and i was like shook and then they also gave us some top coat and when i tried this top coat i was really impressed it wasn't terrible i liked it it was it had a thick viscosity it was nice and then we get the dime nail supply contact information card and so I'm going to go ahead and swatch the colors um, that came with the kit as well as the two that I purchased separately. And I'm going to just use the Dime Nail Supply brush to do that. I did put my brush in some brush cleaner first and then I removed also that residue that came. Sorry, I removed the residue first and then I put it in the brush cleaner. And this is where I messed up because I forgot to angle the brush um, towards the bottle. Instead, I just put it in there. So I made like a mess of monomer on my napkin. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these and let you guys see all these colors side by side.
and so these are the colors side by side we have carnation bubble yum and buttercream and of course the clear in the middle go ahead and go into the nail so i'm using the extra extra long no c curve nail square tips and i'm gonna go ahead and apply these to all of my nails i already did my peel off method and i'm using my mia secret nail glue to go ahead and glue these on and i don't know what it is but y'all have been killing it with these with these square nail tips like these bad boys are square and so then i'm using the 80 80 grit nail file and i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of clean up the shape and this part of the video is sped up now like i said i will say this nail file worked great nothing wrong with it it's just very thin for my personal preference but i will say it did get the job done and for the sake of this video i did file my acrylic with it and it performed great again just way too thin for my personal preference but they work they do what they're supposed to do which kind of surprised me because I thought because of the fact that they were so thin, they were going to be flimsy, but they were pretty sturdy. They didn't break. So I will give these a good 8 out of 10 just because, again, they're very thin and I don't like that personally. And so we're gonna go ahead and use that color buttercream and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to all of the nails. And as always, I will leave my pinky in real time and then I will go ahead and speed up the other two to three nails that I do. And I believe I use my own brush for this set. Um, I'm more comfortable now with like a 10 or 12 when it comes to the size. So I use this size 10 that I got off of like AliExpress a while back. And that's what I ended up using today. I feel like a size 8 is way too small for me now. Okay, your girl is coming up in the world. But yeah, so we used the size 10 that I got, like I said, from AliExpress. And then I go ahead and just apply my acrylic like normal. So I am just going to go ahead and show you guys how this performs. So as you can see, this polymerized very quickly. And this note is in real time so you guys can see exactly how it performs. Um, and I also will note that it is extremely cold where I do my nails because I do my nails in my basement and you know that's where I have my own space to do my own thing but it's very cold and it's like the acrylic is not running everywhere it's not like flooding any areas um, the way I do it is I go ahead and dip my brush into the monomer kind of like wipe the side and then I go ahead and tap it into the acrylic and it's been it seems to be performing well um it's not marbling which is also a plus um i hate when my acrylic marbles whether it's colored or just regular cover acrylics but mostly cover acrylics because they're not as pigmented so like there is no reason it should be marbling but as you can see the bead picks up nicely it polymerizes nicely so definitely we'll give it an 8 out of 10 for this as well And so what I like to do is at any point if my acrylic does kind of move to the side of the nail, I just like to make sure that I'm cleaning that up as quickly as possible just so it doesn't dry up and I don't have to file that. Because um, if you do that, then you can potentially file into your skin and that hurts. Don't, don't do that. That hurts. But just make sure if you do get acrylic anywhere beside the nail just to clean it up quickly, as quickly as you can just to get that just make sure you're not having to file over it even though if you file it correctly it shouldn't like steep into your skin but sometimes it still does happen so you just want to make sure that you're cleaning it up as you go before it dries it's better to clean it up while it's wet than having to file it while it's dry and tough and hardened
And of course, you want to make sure that you are not flooding the cuticle. And if any acrylic gets into that, that you are cleaning it up with your brush. Again, you don't want that to harden. But once I like how that nail looks, we're going to go ahead and add the acrylic to the other nails. And these other nails, I do have them sped up because I'm using the same color for all of the nails. So I just did, I think, three nails because I just didn't want the video to get repetitive. And so now that I am done applying my acrylic to all of my nails, I am going to go ahead and use my dust collector. And again, I'm using that 8080 file that came with the beginner friendly kit only because I just want to keep everything within like this kit. So like I'm trying to just use everything that's provided. Again, the file works great. There is nothing wrong with it. It worked phenomenal. I was able to file all of my acrylic with this one file. Again, for me personally though, personally though, just the preference, it's just preference wise. I don't, pref I prefer like a thicker nail file, but this definitely got the job done. This definitely got that shape nice and crisp the way I like. So again, nothing wrong with it. Just me, I, it's just a personal thing. But yeah, so once I go ahead and 
file the nails I do go ahead and use the buffer provided and I'm also using my nail drill and I'm just going around the cuticle to just seal that in even though I do a pop-off method I still like to make sure that the nails look nice so once I'm done sealing the cuticle in I go ahead with that nail buffer that was provided and then I go ahead and buff out those scratches And so here I'm just showing you guys how the nail looks before I buff it out. You can see it's full of scratches. And so then I'm going to go ahead and just like buff out the surface of the nail. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like after I buff it out. And you can see these buffers work great. They are very gritty. They're not like on the finer side. They're definitely on the coarser side. But I definitely feel like it gets the job done. It did what it was supposed to do. And I can definitely appreciate that. I wish they sold these like separately. Because I would definitely buy a pack. Like these are so good. Like I... 10 out of 10 for these buffers. And so now that the nails are filed, shaped, and buffed, what I like to do is I like to spray some alcohol on my nails and then I go ahead and remove all that debris and all that dust off of it before I go in with my nail design. And so for the design that I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and it's kind of like a winter design. I was trying to do like a fall set, but then I realized the blue made it very wintry. So I guess this is my first winter set. So I'm using my Model 1's rhinestone glue. And then what I like to do is I like to fan out the gel glue before I put on the crystals. Only because that way it's not leaving like that big like blob on the side of the rhinestones. And so then once I like how that looks, I'm going to go ahead and put on some top coat. And I find this way is easier because that way you don't have to over... You don't have to top coat over the rhinestones as well. So then once I go ahead and do that, you can go ahead and apply your crystals. And then you can go ahead and cure it under your nail lamp for 60 seconds. That way you don't have to worry about the um, top coating afterwards since you already did it. And so for this, I was just grabbing some rhinestones because I wanted to do like three one middle like one big one medium one small so then i go ahead and pick out the rhinestones that i like and then i'm gonna go ahead and place them where i want them to be And so I'm going to go ahead and apply top coat to all of my nails because I am going to be using some gel and then kind of putting glitter over that. So you want to make sure that when you do that, that you already have top coat applied. If not, it makes it a bit more difficult to be able to go ahead and 
top coat it after the design. So once my nails are cured, I'm going to go ahead and use this color from Beatles and this is such a pretty blue. This is my first time using it. It is so gorgeous. I definitely love it. And I love all Beatles products like poly gel, gels, acrylic and or dip because they do have acrylic and they do have dip. But I've been using dip as acrylic lately because it's the same exact thing. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and do a V French on the thumbnail and the pinky nail and then what I'm going to go ahead and do after that is pour some of that blue glitter that kind of matches this gel polish and then I'm going to go ahead and cure that in my nail line for 60 seconds. So for my pointer finger, I'm going to go ahead and do that sweater weather design and I'm doing the same thing with the blue gel polish and then I'm going to go ahead and pour that glitter over it and then I cure in my nail lamp for 60 seconds. I did do the lines off camera because they were just not coming straight to save my life and it was kind of bothering me so I just had to turn the camera off and do it at my own pace. So once I go ahead and do that sweater weather design, I then move on to my ring finger where I do that plaid design. And so I'm using some white gel polish from Dynamic Nail Supply, and I believe I also used their black. And so then what I do is I go ahead and do the design. This nail is not top coated only because this design, I can do the design first and then top coat it. But what I do is I go ahead and do that plaid design. And then for the blue line, I do that after I top coat it because again, due to that glitter, I don't want it sticking to my top coat or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch this part of the video. And then after that, this is pretty much it for the nail design. I go ahead and top coat my nails, apply my cuticle oil, and then that's it. So I'll let you guys watch the rest of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.